Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how to set up shared folders on FreeBSD using the Plan 9 file system. Okay, let's do this. The Plan 9 file system is going to be introduced in FreeBSD version 15, but I'm going to show you on how you can get this running on a previous version of FreeBSD. For that I'm going to use FreeBSD 14.3. So I'm going to create a new machine. So the new machine has just been installed. The next steps I'm going to do is to go and enable the shared folders. For this, I'm going to go to the directory shared mode, virtual file system. Let's put the downloads folder and let's remove the USB drive. Let's put again the machine. All right, so let's log into the machine. You might have noticed that I didn't create any users. This is because I'm just using the machine for demonstration purposes. Also, you might have noticed that I didn't install the kernel sources. We're going to need this afterwards. For now, let's try to load the driver, KLD load, virt.io on p9fs and it's nowhere to be found. This should work in FreeBSD version 15, but we are at version 14.3. So how can we make this work? All right, so for this we need to compile the drivers for this version of the machine and we're going to need to do some patching. Let's go. First we go to the main directory. And now we're going to fetch the kernel sources for this version. All right, now we can install the sources. So we do tar x xvzf on the source. And it's installed. Let's check user source and there it is, the sources. Now we're going to fetch the sources for the version 15 for FreeBSD. For that, I'm going to create a new directory. Let's call it 15. Let's go to the 15 directory and let's fetch the sources for that kernel version. We need to change here a little bit. So we don't have releases, we have snapshots. And it's not 14.3, it's 15.0 snapshot. All right, let's decompress the kernel sources into this directory, tar xvzf source. Let's just confirm that the operating, the operating system version, so cctl-n kern os rel date. There we go, 14.3. And let's confirm the version of these kernel sources, vim user source sys sys param all right we didn't install vim oh yo yo we need to do that pkg install vim all right let's try again and search for underscore version and here we can see this version here is for 15.0 while if we go to the slash here, underscore version, it's for the 14.3. Okay, so we are missing a couple of files uh, related to the Plan 9 uh, uh, file system for the 14.3. So let's install this. Let's copy from the 15 kernel version to the 14.3. So first we find user source sysdev virt.io plan9 file system and 
we have a couple of files and we need to co copy with full path. So we do a pipe cpio pdm to slash. All right, let's confirm that these files are now there. ls slash user source sys dev vert io plan 9 file system. Yes, they are there. We need more files, so we need the, to find user source sys file system plan 9 and we pipe it into cpio pdm to slash and we need to find user source uh, sys modules plan 9 pipe cpio pdm to slash and finally vertio plan 9 plash pipe cpio dash pdm to slash all right we are almost there now we go to the user source sys modules plan 9 file system and when we we're going to see when we try to type make some errors are going to occur so let's do it make and we have a fatal error let's fix this error so edit user source sys fs plan 9 and p9 client dot uh, h and we search for the std arc and we add an underscore try make again all right so it's compiled now we go to the modules vert io plan 9 and we're going to see again we are going to get some problems make all right so too few arguments let's edit that file the user source sys dev vert io plan 9 vert io dot c this is 253 253 and here we can just add a zero comma all right so make and it's compiled wow okay now let's go to user object and here we should have uh, sys modules and we have the the ko files and we can just copy them p9fs p9fs.ko to slash boot slash loader sorry slash boot slash kernel copy the vertio plan 9 file system vertio plan 9 ko kernel object to slash boot slash kernel awesome now uh, we can remove the directory the 15 directory we don't need this anymore actually it's here so remove here good now let's try to load the module kld load virt io p9 fs that it, that's it it's loading so dmask and we have it let's try to see so uh, ls slash mnt it's not there but mount p9fs share on slash df and you see now uh, okay i always make this mistake this of course this should not work it's slash mnt all right and i'm sorry but uh, <laughs> again the same thing it's not p9 it uh, 9p it's p9 it's not 9 plan it's plan 9 okay let's try this one more time mount p9fs share slash mnt now we should be there hooray we are so ls slash mnt and there we get some uh, some shared folder 
let's try to make this run on uh, to mount the system. So unmount slash MNT. Let's try to get this to mount on the system boot. So vim boot loader.conf and we can put here vert io p9fs load equals yes and let's edit etcfs tab let's put here share slash mnt read write zero zero of course i forgot one of the most important things which is the file system type which should be p9fs mount dash a let's just confirm yes it's mounted and let's log in df and now we see that it's mounted again ls slash mnt and the freebsd disk is there and we can also touch hello world all right so there is just one thing i forgot so i download again the kernel sourcers just because i want to make this complete tar xpcf and we decompress here and i'm just going to do one last thing so find dash name p9fs and we can see that we have actually a manual page, which I forgot to copy before. So let's copy the user, source, share, man, man4, p9fs to user, source, share, man, man4. Okay, so now we can do man, p9fs, and this video has is being having way too many uh, mistakes. So of course I don't want to copy this file to the user source. I want to copy this to user share man man four. Otherwise the manual page is not going to come. So now let's try it again. P nine fs. Yes, finally it works. And here you can read that we can put uh, uh, vertio p nine fs into the loader.conf. We can also use the sysctl with the kld list uh, to enable the uh, plan9fs. Uh, this will not work if um, you are mounting the, the file system with fs tab. And it also shows you how to mount the file systems that I've just shown before. All right, so that's it for today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have some comments or suggestions, please use the space down below. Otherwise, thanks for passing by and take care and see you next time. Bye bye.